大家好，欢迎你回到 C H I 一一三的频道，我是高老师。现在我们要开始学第一课，问好，对话一。Hey everybody, this is Gao Lao Shi, and in this pre-class video, we'll be focusing on Lesson One, Dialogue One, from your Integrated Chinese Textbook, which is all about exchanging greetings, or in Chinese, Wen Hao. Let's look now at what's expected of you before our next class session. Before the next class, this video is going to help you accomplish the following learning objectives. Number one. You should be able to understand and be able to pronounce using the correct tones all of the assigned vocab words from Lesson One, Dialogue One. Number two, you should be able to read and fully comprehend on your own the textbook dialogue. Number three, you should have a basic understanding of the dialogue's main grammar points, and there are three that we'll be focusing on here in this pre-class video. And number four, you should be able to read and write all of the characters for next class's in-class quiz. 好的。准备好了吗？我们开始吧。One of the best study methods to use in preparing for class is to listen to the textbook audio at least two to three times. This will help you become more familiar with our new vocab words, as well as give you extra practice fine-tuning your pronunciation. To get the most out of this exercise, please try your best to mimic the pronunciation of the speaker out loud. Let's listen to the audio together. Lesson one, dialogue one, vocabulary. One. Ni. You. Two. Good. Fine. Good. Nice. Okay. It's settled. Three. Please. Please. Polite form of request. To treat or invite somebody. Four. When. To ask a question. Five. Good. Honorable. Expensive. Six. Xing. One's surname is. To be surnamed. Surname. Seven. 我 I, me. Eight. No. Question particle. Nine. 小姐 Miss. Young lady. Ten. 叫 To be called. To call. Eleven. 什么 ？What? Twelve. 名字。Name. Thirteen. 先生。Mister. Husband. Teacher. Please go back now and listen to this audio at least two more times, repeating out loud what you hear. Now that you're comfortable reading and pronouncing our new vocab words, it's time to listen to the audio of the textbook dialogue. I would suggest listening to this audio at least three times, just to make sure you can fully understand what's being said. Let's listen. Lesson one, dialogue one, exchanging greetings. 你好。你好。请问，你贵姓？我姓李，你呢？我姓王，李小姐，你叫什么名字？我叫李友，王先生，你叫什么名字？我叫王鹏。Please go back and listen to this audio at least two more times, making sure you can fully comprehend what both speakers are saying. 
In addition to listening to the audio, another effective method to learn the new vocab words is to use flashcards. And Quizlet, as I'm sure many of you are aware of, is an excellent flashcard-based website. All you need to do to start practicing our new vocab words from Lesson 1, Dialogue 1, is scan the QR code on your screen here or click on the link below in the description section of the video. So if we look at the dialogue itself, the first grammar point we will see in the dialogue, which I have here colored in red, is sing. 跟我说, sing. So sing, which is spelled X-I-N-G, you should have your tongue should be touching the back of your bottom teeth to pronounce this, and you should be making almost a smile with your mouth. Again, repeat after me. Sing. And this here is how the dialogue shows this grammar pattern. So Wang Peng, the male figure here, says, 请问, 你归姓? So let's look at this character in a little more detail. Sing is a verb, meaning one's family name. And there are two ways to inquire about someone's surname or their family name. The first is, just as the textbook says, 请问, 你? The second way to inquire about someone's last name is 你姓什么? So here it's literally you, last name, what? The main difference between these two ways of asking about someone's surname is that the first one is much more formal and polite. Let's practice. 他姓什么? 他姓什么? So what's his surname? And if you said Ta Sing Wang, you are correct. Wang is his surname, his last name. Hao Ta Sing Shama Ta Sing Shama. So what's her surname? And if you said Li Ta Sing Li, you are correct. Li is her last name, is her surname. Let's practice again. Ta na ta sing sha ma ta sing sha ma. And here, if you said ta sing grande, you are correct. And this is a key difference, a key cultural difference between English and Chinese. So don't forget that the surname, or what we call the last name, always goes first in Chinese. How about this one? Ta sing sha ma. Ta sing sha ma. And I hope you said ta sing li. Right? Li is his surname here. What if you said ta sing li xiao long? Dui bu dui. Is that right? Dui bu dui. Bu dui. Not right. The correct answer would be ta sing. Li, so the surname is only that first character. Here's two common errors I see with regards to this verb sing. Let's look at the first one. So let's say somebody asks you, Ni Gui Sing, right? What is your honorable surname? And you say, Wa Gui Sing Wang. That is incorrect. It's correct to ask the question in this format, Ni Gui Sing. But it is incorrect to answer this type of question using gui. You're going to make yourself sound very pretentious. So you would simply say, wa xing wang. Another common error I see is this one. So let's say somebody asks you, ni gui xing. And then you respond, wa xing wang peng. Right? So when they're asking you for your xing, that is your surname or your last name, they only want that first character. So you should say, 我姓王。好的,我们来练习一下。Let's take a moment now to practice what we've just studied. Please translate the sentences below using 姓. And please pause the video here as you do these exercises on your own. Number one. 你贵姓, 你贵姓, would be the formal way to ask 
for someone's family name. Number two. Ni sing shama. Ni sing shama would be the more casual way to ask for someone's family name. And number three. Wa sing li. Wa sing li. Let's move on and look at the second main grammar point in the dialogue. So here this grammar point is said by Li Yo, another important character from the textbook. So she says, Wa sing li ni na. So here she's saying, My surname is Li. What about you? Ni na. So let's look at this na. So the particle na is used to form an abbreviated question, meaning and, and usually it's with the pronoun that, that comes before it, and you, or and him, or and her. And so na should be placed directly after a noun or a pronoun. And when na is used, it's important to remember that the meaning of the question must be clearly understood in the preceding section. So let's look here at an example, right? So Leo says, Wa xing li ni na. We know that Leo is telling Wang Peng what her last name is. And so, of course, this ni na question is aimed at her interlocutor, asking Wang Peng what his surname is. 好的,我们来练习一下. Let's take a moment to practice this new character. So please translate the sentences below using na. And you're going to want to pause the video now because I'm about to give away the answers. Number one. 我姓王,你呢? 我姓王,你呢? Number two. 我叫李友,你呢? 我叫李友,你呢? Let's look at another example here. Or let's look at it. Let's go back to the dialogue to look at our final grammar point. So Wang Peng he says, Li Xiaojie, Ni Jiao Shama Mingzi. Li Xiaojie, Ni Jiao Shama Mingzi. So a quick word here about Xiaojie before we move on to look at the final grammar point. Jiao. Notice how her last name, Li, comes before Miss Xiaojie. This, of course, is different than how we do it in English. So how do you think you would say Mr. Wang? Correct. If you said Wang Xiansheng, you are right. So the surname comes before the Mr. or the Miss. All right, let's look at this final grammar point, Jiao. So the verb Jiao means to be called. And let's practice. 他叫什么名字? 他叫什么名字? And if you said 他叫李友, you are correct. It's asking for her full name here. 他叫李友. 他呢? 他叫什么名字? 他叫什么名字? And hopefully you said 他叫王鹏. 好,他呢?他叫什么名字? 他叫小龙,对不对? 对, right? You can say that. You could say he's called Xiaolong. Or you could also say 他叫李小龙. They're both appropriate answers to the question. So this is the verb 叫, our final grammar point today. 好的,我们练习。Let's practice using this new verb, jiao. Please translate the sentences below using jiao. And please also pause the video now as you complete these exercises on your own. Number one. 你叫什么名字? 你叫什么名字? Number two. 
我不叫王鹏。我不叫王鹏。我不叫王鹏。我不叫王鹏。我不叫王鹏。我不叫王鹏。我不叫王鹏。我不叫王鹏。我不叫王鹏。我不叫王鹏。我不叫王鹏。我